your false sense of identity that you think this is the person, then you have no chance. You're just wasting your time. Now you're going to probably get another chance to come back and repeat, repeat the same thing. But that's not going to be this time. I assure you, you can't walk through this gateway if you don't have and feel that sense of urgency inside you and the willingness to sacrifice everything for awareness, you have no chance. You just bounce from one teacher to another teacher, one set of teachings to another set of teachings, because it's comfortable, because it's trendy, because it's new, because it's cool, but you're avoiding the jump. You're avoiding what needs to be done. And that's why so many have tried to reach the peaks of consciousness and very few have succeeded. Very few have liberated and the rest stay where they are. In Maya, the world of illusion. So, I explained this part. One of the reasons I was talking about it is because I want to share with you this struggle that we go through in our lifetime, the lack of self-love, and we don't accept yourself. That so many of us are struggling with it on a daily basis. I struggled with it. I like to, oh, as much as I can, if possible, to use myself and my own stories as an example of my, my deep struggles that for maybe from the time I left Lucknow to, it was like 13, 15, 16, 17 years of going through this thing of why am I like this? I couldn't understand. I was being pulled from the world below and the world above. A part of me was wanted to go back to India and go to Master Punjaji and I was thinking I go there, I take my passport and whatever I have and I rip off my passport, I put a lungi around me and I go from one ashram to the other ashram or I just surrender to my teacher and give myself to the teacher and say, do whatever you're pleased to do with me and I'm here to serve, serve you. And I'll just stay in India till I reach awakening, till enlightenment happens. And whatever I have to do, I have to beg for food and live in a temple, whatever I do. So a part of me had this very, very strong desire of doing that of just diving 100% in what seems to be a spiritual life. So this was like consuming me like fire. The other part was that I enjoyed driving a nice car, 
I enjoyed fashion. I enjoyed uh, going out to dinner uh, with a beautiful lady, sit at a table, candlelight dinner, and spend $200 on food and wine and everything. And then at the end, you know, throw your credit card there and pay for it and just be, be mindless, careless about it, and enjoy luxury. And freedom, that kind of freedom, of being able to travel around the world and do whatever you want to do, buy anything you want and drive anything you want, eat anything you want, all of it. So there's this battle, I call it the world above and the world below. It's not really above and below, okay? because both are necessarily, but I call it that. So I go through this struggle, and I'm like, why am I like this? And my craziness, all the craziness that I, I had, my addictions, my addiction to the high, getting high, wanting to be high. Not necessarily high because of substances. Being high to be around my guru. Getting this high that I get from when coming into this energy field. And then at that time, I didn't know it's really coming from myself. I thought it's coming from someone else. But anyway, you have this also craziness inside you. Addiction to danger, addiction to alcohol, drugs, sex. Really seriously being consumed by it. But then, so you have this very powerful duality inside you of one part is you're yearning and crying for being holy and being really still and dedicating yourself like a monk to godly life, godly world, purity that you imagine, you think it's pure. And the other part of you is worldly, is Loving the pleasures of senses and wants to do anything for more. Is that, does that sound familiar to you? Is this something you can relate to? Or I'm the only weird one here? So, struggling into this thing, can you imagine that intensely? And since you're, you are just being pulled, it, and at times I feel like I'm really being torn into pieces. I'm literally feeling torn. Someone is cutting me. Somebody has connected me from my legs and my my arms into two chariots and each chariot is going a different direction and they're just pulling me apart. I'm being torn and it's very intense. I'm going through all this thing with myself. Why am I like this? This question would always come. Why am I like this? Why do I have to be like this? Why can't I just dive into the spiritual world and just be dedicated to that? 